Hey divers, let's mask up for a plunge into the past, back to the western interior seaway. Imagine a world where towering chalk cliffs crumble into green-black water, down in the depths. A truly unique creature ruled the thermocline, Hespornis. This wasn't your average seabird. It was flightless, with its hips practically welded to a tail rudder and feet kicked far back for incredible. Propulsion. Think less like a gull and more like a living torpedo. Built for speed and efficiency under the waves. Its long slender jaws weren't beaked, but bristled with true teeth, socketed neatly in a groove. This was a serious predator. A muscular gullet would quickly process its fishy meals turning them into fuel before a bigger predator could show up for a piece of the action. Picture hot summer noon. 80 million years ago, sunlight hammers the surface, but just below, a Hesperornis knives through a shimmering school of herring. It twists its spine to skull and stare, a master of underwater agility, then rockets upward to snatch a single, crisp gulp of air before vanishing back into the shadows. Life wasn't easy, though. Above, Giant mosasaurs patrolled the margins of the seaway, below. Sharks like Squalacorax cruised through the confusion, but right in between. This amazing bird wrote elegant sine waves in the deep. Evolution had made a trade-off. All that speed in the water came at a cost. Clumsiness on land. On the shore, Hesperornis likely shuffled on its belly, pushing itself along. It would nest on quiet sand spits and isolated islands places the big marine reptiles tended to ignore. The evidence for this incredible lifestyle is locked in stone. Fossils from Kansas all the way up to Manitoba keep the receipts of its existence. We see interlocking vertebrae that allow for flexible, powerful swimming. Its limb bones were dense, acting as natural ballast to help it dive. E even the wear on its teeth sketches out a menu of slippery, fast-moving prey. Hespornus was a hyper-specialized hunter, a perfect machine for its environment. But when the Great Seaway began to shrink and the coastlines shifted, the world of the blackwater hunters changed forever. They lost the very specific arena they were built for. There was no corridor to a new home, no runway to take flight, and ultimately, no return. Yet, their story hums with a powerful lesson, specialize without apology. When the niche is wide enough and the physics is on your side, if you ever watch a loon today, you might just glimpse the ghost of this prehistoric marathon or bird that swapped the sky for the sea and won right up until the venue closed for good. Thanks for diving into the chalk seas with us. If you enjoyed this journey, please subscribe, like, and let us know in the comments what ancient marine player you want us to chase through the green next time.